If the Democratic primaries were to be held today, there's no doubt that Gavin Newsom, a man that I hold a good deal of disrespect for, would crow about California's $100 billion surplus. I'm here to tell you that this is a mirage in the California desert that will soon evaporate. Now, what created it? First of all, the government printed massive amounts of money during COVID that inflated, that went directly into the stock market and inflated the valuations of company over the year of 2021, which means that especially Silicon Valley shareholders who sold during this time paid capital gains taxes far in excess as what they would have paid the previous year. Now, you consider the fact that California also raised taxes on the very well-to-do. They are reaping an enormous windfall from their actions. And you think that this is good policy because you have a temporary net gain. Well, unfortunately, the raising of the taxes, the anti-business climate enacted by Newsom, the woke policies, the treating of homeless people as absolutely untouchables, but not in an Indian sense, in a good sense that these noble people must be allowed to defecate on people's lawns in the middle of the street and cannot be touched. The easy on crime, as in no enforcement on crime in Los Angeles and San Francisco, are sending many acting as a pressure valve to send many of the well-to-do citizens to other states. Not only the citizens are moving high net worth individuals like Ben Shapiro, like Joe Rogan, but they're taking their companies with them. Along with that, you have people, the actual huge corporations like Hewlett Packard, like Oracle, like Tesla, that are shifting away from California and have paid their last tax bill to the commie state. That's right. All these people that are exiting are no longer going to be paying taxes. And all the people that seek to continue to work at, for corporations that are still reside within California are going to opt to work abroad and have their residencies in Nevada or some locale where you can get a cheap plane ticket if you need to come back. Because the other thing that COVID and the pandemic proved is that you can occasionally successfully work out of the office and still be productive. Whether or not it's productive is within the office confines is another story, but some corporations are allowing it. That means many citizens are gonna take advantage of it, further eroding the California tax base that Newsom and the greedy Democrats are raking it in from so that they can enforce their woke policies and give away medical care to every single illegal immigrant that crosses into the state, which they are doing in an effort to gain extra electoral votes for the state and shift the country to the blue policies that have essentially ruined the state. Then you have the EDD of California, which during the pandemic gave away $31 billion to scammers. Why do you think this is? Is it possible that woke hiring practices, aka affirmative action, you got in people into jobs that had no idea what they are doing. But that's a side of the point. The point being is that the exodus of corporations and people from the state make it less likely that the next new big thing, which used to be take place in Silicon Valley, which used to have a massive network effect that attracted more and more people to it, is now being disrupted and being dispersed over the nation. The next big thing that would happen is less likely to take place in Silicon Valley and more likely to be in another state, whether that be Austin, Texas, whether that be somewhere in Las Vegas, Nevada, where some of the corporations have moved to. So the California budget surplus is temporary, a oasis in the future desert that they are creating for themselves by removing the productive members of society and will soon, very soon, evaporate and California will be in a budget emergency once again. Guys, that's just the reality. I left the state of California, one of many productive citizens. Thumb up the video, subscribe, hit the all notification bell, and share it with a friend if you enjoyed it. Peace out.